that's six really solid hits there. Hi guys, this is Matt and welcome back to the channel. Off the back of the success of the new Ping i230, we're going to put that up against the tailor-made equivalent, which is the P770. Um, so both very similar clubs are looking at a very similar type of golfer. Um, this was one of our best sellers last year, the P770. Uh, the new i230 has come into uh, the market and has been very popular so far. So we're gonna put it head to head and see which one comes out on top, see which one is best suited to your game. So let's initially look at the aesthetics. Um, this type of club um, is very pleasing on the eye. Um, looking down at the two of them, the footprint of the 770 looks marginally smaller. I don't think there's a lot in it. Um, the top line, uh, sort of top edge of the uh, of the 770, again looks a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, not not that much in it. Um, but yeah, it looks a little bit smaller than the 770. Uh, both obviously, um, you know, look very pleasing on the eye. Must admit, um, you know, certainly can't fault. Uh, the looks of this type of club. Um, so we're going to hit half a dozen shots with each club, um, really sort of assessing feel and, and ultimately performance to see which one um, is kind of performing the best for really. So let's kick off with the tail mate. Um, we have got the uh, S300 shaft in both of these uh, stiff shafts, so it should be a uh, fairly uh, good comparison. to kick us off there um, and again just to sort of remind you guys you know this type of club really is in the market for um, a little bit of help a little bit of forgiveness um, but also something that looks nice and feels quite nice as well so getting a nice blend of, of looks feel uh, and forgiveness and um, tailor-made have done this by uh, you know really sort of We've put this inverted cone technology in, so that's helping the off-center hits. Uh, they've also injected it with the speed foam, so that, that's giving the distance. Um, so there's quite a bit going on here to, to try and sort of tick all the boxes that we're looking for. Yeah, pretty good again there. So two reasonable hits to begin with. Now this type of club isn't gonna be the longest. Um, but should give us you know, a good bit of distance compared to say the, the sort of smaller heads of different clubs. I thought great. Really solid ball speed there. Nice and straight, 172 carry. Spinning there, what, 5,800 just under. That was a good strike. So as I say, looks. Looks really nice on the eye. Good again. Yeah, looks good. I mean, a lot of this depends on what type of club you're currently using. Um, you know, I'd say it's you know looks fairly small, really. You know, I think you, you do have to be mindful that it's you've got to be a reasonable striker to hit this. Yeah, another good hit. Yeah, this is feeling really good. Um, obviously been very strong this year, so I can see why it has been strong. It, it does tick the boxes. I'm, in, I'm, I'm intrigued to see the consistency of this club uh, because it has got the speed foam in. It's got the, uh, the sort of speed pocket as well at the bottom. So I want to be reassured that it has got the level of consistency that the, uh, the inverted cone technology is telling us. That's six really solid hits there, must admit. You know, um, first couple were okay, and then those last four were really solid. So, uh, quite a lot for the uh, the I230 to, to sort of match up against, really. Um, so, we'll just tag that I230. As I said, if you, if you haven't already seen my reviews on the I230, definitely check those out. Uh, it's been super popular. Um, 
and I think it is a big upgrade on the on the uh, the i210. Uh, that was a good product, but it looks a lot cleaner. I must admit, uh, the feel, sound, and performance have all been really good, um, and it, it seems to be ticking the boxes that the Pinger are looking for. Um, again. Comparing this to the 770, it's the same loft, so both 33 degrees, so fairly traditional. Um, so we're not going to see crazy distance numbers, but let's hit six with this. As I said, this does feel ever so slightly bigger on the eye, slightly bigger sort of top edge, so it feels like we may get a bit more forgiveness out of this. Yeah, not a bad one there. Although this isn't forged like the, the, the 770, um, it has got the, the uh, sort of micro spheres at the back and this polymer, polymer insert that's giving us some good amount of feel. Yeah, really good. Feels good. Just trying to really kind of get a, a feel of which one I do prefer the feel of, because um, that tailor-made did feel fantastic, I must admit. A bit off the bottom there, so we'll see the, the ball speed just drop a little bit. Um, Ping, I've spoke a lot about these Micromax brews as well, so this club really, the story's all around distance control. Um, this is one thing that we've sort of kept reinforcing that it's not necessarily a distance iron, it's more distance control. So if you're looking for someone to, you know, who wants sort of maximum control, then this is the club that you should be looking at from a uh, the ping range. Right, just turn on the left and touch. Seems to be producing similar ball speeds to the tail made. Yeah, nice strike. Yeah, feels good. Okay, let's hit one more and then we'll uh, we'll compare the two. It's going to be tight. I mean, they both both are very good products. Um, I don't think you'd be disappointed by any of them, to be honest. Yeah, nice try to finish there. So it's going to be tight. I mean, you know, before I even look at the performance, it's very hard to, to sort of pick a, a winner, really. And, um, they both felt great. Maybe the Taylor May felt slightly nicer, but there's not a lot in it. But to be honest, it's, it's a real sort of personal thing. Let's look at the dispersion. So we've got uh, Taylor made uh, in the white there, uh, and the Ping I230 in the orange. So yeah, both very good. Yeah, we had the one left with the Ping, um, but it's still not that far offline. Uh, so dispersion-wise, yeah, I mean can't really call it because there's, there's one a little bit right with the tailor made, one a bit left with the ping. So, um, and from front to back, again, I can't really see a, a real sort of clear, obvious winner there. Um, the one thing I was worried about with the, the tailor made was, you know, whether that speed foam would give me the, the control, which it definitely has done. Um, let's take a closer look at the table because there's, there doesn't appear to be any major differences between the two so you know looking at the speeds yeah ball speed both 119 120 so nothing in that at all um did appear to strike the 770 marginally better uh, smash factor at 1.36 to, to 133 with the, the ping um taylor made looks to be launching a little bit lower um 16.8 degrees to 17.5 which yeah we, I have seen that a little bit and you can see it a little bit in the in the spin rate being a touch higher in the ping uh, at what sort of five five seven five eight to five six um, we have found that little bit of sort of 
I guess the speed, the speed foam um, is bringing it out a fraction hotter, but really not a lot in it. Um, height, almost identical, 95 feet to 93 feet. Uh, carry, 169 carry with the ping, uh, 170.8, uh, and then total 177 to pretty much 180. So the tailor-made looks to be marginally um, longer, but what we're looking at, what? 2.7 yards, so really not a lot in it at all. Uh, and then in terms of the side, uh, ping plus or minus 15 feet to plus or minus 16 feet. So this, these two clubs couldn't really be any closer. You know, you can see the dispersion, you can see the numbers so similar, but uh, you know, ultimately that's why they are where they are. Uh, for this type of golfer from, you know, I think I said with the ping sort of 12 handicap and below, but it is personal. Um, if you're a reasonable striker, but you're, you are looking for a little bit of help, uh, you're not overly caught up on distance. Uh, you want that little bit of reassurance around the distance control. These two types of clubs uh, are definitely two you should be looking at. Um, I can't split them today. Um, both very good, um, really difficult to, to pick a winner. Um, but definitely, as I said, should be on your list of clubs to try. Uh, thanks always for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Post any comments down below. And let me know which one you would go for. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon.